Um, I just said like a thousand different things. I don't even remember. Uh, oh yeah, Nocturne r r wrote me off as dead there, so he kind of backed off. But I had Red Pot and my shield to save me. Got the slow off. Oh, he flashed. Nice safeguard to the creep to break the le the fear leash range. That was a good play. Uh, my flash is still up. I couldn't have flashed away from the gank there unless I made it to the drag inside the Baron pit because um, I would have got converged on from mid, and while I could have potentially dodged that least in queue, it was very hard to see coming. Um, if the if the fear got off from Nocturne, then I probably would have lived, but it was a uh, it was too close to call. One second. CSing, holding the wave. CS is really even. Lee Sin's gonna be up a kill because he got first blood on me. Um. Oh my god, even double Duran's blade. Holy crap. Alright, I cannot beat him in any early trades right now. All I have is boots. And if he gets on me, he's gonna win every trade. He has like over 20 AD. I think my best bet is just to keep the lane here and farm till six. If I get level six, it's gonna be hard for him to secure any any solid kills on me. But I'm pretty behind right now. Just have to be patient and try to farm. That early game play really put me behind. My red pot's also about to drop. I did waste it trying to survive against the fiddle gang. Trying really hard to deny me. Get that creep low. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just trying to farm the lane out and see what I can do afterward. The fact that he invested very much into early game items in the form of double Duran's blade is well, one, it's going to make it very hard for me to do anything to him, but two, it's going to make it so that. His purchases aren't going to be worth as much later on in the game. Whereas if I just rush my core items here, then I'll be better off in the long run if we just if the lane just evolves into a free farm. But the fact that he went for those pickups makes it so he has a pretty much guaranteed safe laning phase. So while there are trade-offs, they potentially could be worth it. I don't know. We'll see. Phil Six is doing his blue right now. Nocturne's move again. I think Nocturne has smite. Just gonna poke him lightly. No, he's looking for those cues. No, I don't attack him. I'm not gonna waste too much mana though. She got him fairly low, but he has double Duran's blade, so he's gonna be able to to heal back most of that back up really effectively. He gets he's maxing W, so he has a lot of life steal. And since he went for those blades, he's gonna be getting 10 HP back every auto attack, which is pretty huge. Um, Fiddles that are blue, I think Fiddle might be dead. Yep. That's really good. That's gonna be a lot of pressure off of the lanes. Um, I have to be careful though. I still can't fight Lee Sin in an all in. Just using safeguard to try to deny me. Up to his old tricks again. Keep holding the lane here. CS is still even. I'm still up 3 CS. Last time I checked, I was up like 2. So. Not much has changed, apparently. That was his first time really using safeguard aggressively. So he might start doing it more now that he saw that he actually won a trade and forced me to blow a pot. Um, really depends what he wants to go for. So I continue to try to keep freezing the lane here. He's gonna queue in. Oh, I thought he was gonna queue in to try to get the last hit. He did not go for it.
Nocturne Stream is just ignoring top, which I'm perfectly fine with. I can't really go too aggressive on him. And I, although maybe during a, maybe we'd be able to make a play on him with a red buff gank. That's definitely a possibility. Nocturne has all. We could do something. I could Lulu out as he goes in. Out. Hopefully Fiddle's not here. If I push the lane out and make sure it hits his turret, then he's gonna be denied of a lot of creeps. Oh, alright, time to buy. That's lagging. It's not loading for some reason. I just refreshed it. Try and try and pull it back up. All right, it's it's working now. So at least popped his red pot, trying to live there. He went for vamp scepter next. Um, I'm just trying rush blazer and king. Um, and get that item out as soon as possible. It's a pretty decent pickup because Lulu can, Lulu has the range of an AD carry. Well, yeah, relatively the range of an AD carry, 550. It's on par with uh, many of them. She has uh, basically an on-hit damage bonus from her passive, which is pretty significant once you get some attack speed going. And she has the survivability and the self-peeling potential to make her pretty damn good if built with the right items. So that's why I like Blade first. Um, a lot of times I go Triforce as my second damage item. I have not really decided what I want to do yet this game. It's going to depend how fast I get my Blade. But we will see. Excuse me. Fuck. He's in ganked mid. Don't have any wards out from either me or mid. I'm just gonna push the wave up to the turret. At least it's probably coming back top soon. Yeah, at least he might come around me. No, oh, he went back. He went back through the long way. So I can actually get quite a bit of harass here. Fiddle's coming top. Alright, I'm gonna back off. We don't have any wards here. We really do need some though. I'm gonna walk close to the brush and see if I get the fiddle passive. Nope, he's on the brush. Fiddle has a passive that applies, like I said, um, during my turret game, Fiddle has a passive that applies an MR debuff to any targets within like a set range of him, and it's very useful to scout out if Fiddle is sixes around. By walking near brushes, seeing if the passive lights up, if it is, you better get the hell away. Or by looking at creeps that are near brushes. So like if, if for example if he was in this brush and I clicked on this creep, he'd have the fear icon on on the creep right there and right then and there and I know that he's camping the lane. But the, they have to be a little bit they have to be a little bit close to him, because the aura is not that it's not that huge. It's I think it's relatively the length of an abyssal scepter. I wish I had the exact number though. That would be cool. I'm actually doing some fairly respectable damage to Lee Sin. Fuck, he actually snuck in there. 
Yep, I wasn't in range. I mean, the creep wasn't in range to see the passive. I actually was winning that trade so hard, too. Uh, it caught me off guard. But yeah, like I said, the creeps have to be pretty close to see the aura. Damn, that sucks. I didn't get my ult off either because I got feared. Oh well. I finished Blade of the Rune King. Phil 60's ult top. I think Lee Sin, Lee Sin didn't blow any summoners there. I reds also up. Lee Sin might actually move on it. I don't know. I'm just going to beeline straight for a red and see if he's there. If he's trying to kill it though, it's probably already dead. That's not good. My guess though is that he's not going for it. He's pretty low. That's still up. That's good. I'm just gonna push out top. If anyone comes, this this wave is huge. No one can hold, so they're gonna miss out on a lot. Oh man, we might lose that team fight. That'd be bad. Oh no, I think we're fine. I'm gonna run to try to catch this guy. He's probably coming straight for top. I'm gonna sit in this blue brush. I knew it was coming. Um, I didn't expect him to cue. I didn't expect him to jump to the ward there. So I missed my Q, but I had enough damage from Blade of the Rune King plus my autos and E to finish him off. Should I proxy this wave? So by pushing the wave up, I created basically a, fo a focal point of interest that I knew someone would have to respond to. And Lee Sun was silly enough to respond to it when he was very low. I just got an easy kill on him there. I'm just gonna sit in this brush. Wait for Lee Sin. My, my Blade of the Ring King's almost back up. I have red buff too, so. I have to back I'm probably a mana pot. Are you really- are you kidding me? That Q missed? Fuck. Ah, uh, fucking Janna. So much shield. I cut it out so hard there too. Hopefully they kill him. Leon is there. He has no egg. Oh my god, they misplayed that. Wait, wait. No? If my Q hit, he would have been egg so much earlier. That's gonna just- that's gonna be a-, a Oh! No. Not quite. Oh, it wasn't that bad, I guess. Nothing really happened. Um, I died to the I died to the to the gang. I almost cut out long enough. Like if I egged her there, I would not have died because Janet has no damage to kill me, and I could just auto the egg with my Blade of the Rune King passive and live long enough to survive. But unfortunately, I missed one Q, and that's all it took for her to have enough health to live. I get Mercs here. You want to back off? Uh, she died for free. She just she should have just dropped her Q and walked away. I'm coming top soon. Ezreal's trying to close. He's actually taking their blue instead. He has two free kills. He really should go for the kills. The double snipe. Ah, uh, one snipe. Close enough. All right, that's actually really good for us. Uh, I'm gonna check their blue. 
Oh, they're actually fighting. What the hell? Oh my god. Coming around. Fuck! He's not in range. I'm not in range to ult him. Whatever, I got her. I didn't want to believe. I didn't want to waste my blade ring king in case I'm gonna fight someone right now. That was fine, I guess. Could have been better. That was a good fiddle, ult, but it, we're able to clean him up. I'm just gonna keep pushing up. Um, Lee Sin or Nivia are gonna hold. They're missing out on CS mid. Alright, it's a Nivia. Ooh, nice stun. Nice wall plus stun combo. I had no real way to avoid that. He has no egg. Janice coming, Pat. I knew I could burst him though, with Blazer and King. Yep, oh, killing people left and right. I'm gonna keep pushing up. I knew no one was coming top besides Janna, so I, I was pretty confident going for those plays. I saw Lee Sin mid, and Fiddle6 was there too. I don't really care about MF, so... Just gonna keep pushing up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for Triforce. Um, Lou has many ways to proc it. All the stats are very efficient on her. I'm gonna clear their blue. Oh, they already cleared it. I'm back. Drop my ignite, drop my blade, and king there to pick up the kill. I have a 5 second boost with Whimsy, so I was pretty sure I could clear out the creep wave after. It was a bit risky to try to trim it, but I was fine. Just kind of over Triforce off that kill too. We get a mana pot, health pot. I already have a ward. We do need Baron warded, but we're so far ahead and I don't think it really matters. My double buffs just ran out. Um, those were really, really helpful. Double buffs on Lulu are so strong. I'm just gonna run back top and keep pummeling this guy though, because I just got my Triforce, so I'm even stronger than before. They have a Ward of Baron, so he's gonna see me coming. Um, just gonna clear the creep wave. Push up with Q. Yeah, we could do Baron. I can hold them off while, we, while they do Baron. Oh, no one's in the brush. I'm gonna take top turret. And again, the reason why I sort of AD hybrid Lulu works so well is because all her skills bring a mass amount of utility, mobility, survivability, and damage, uh, which is why she's such a good support, even with zero farm. She has a strong laning phase, her passive gives her damage on hit, so attack speed is a really beneficial stat. Fuck, like I was trying to queue. I would I would have burst her if my spells were up in like 0.1 seconds. Uh, that was a bit too much. I bit off of, uh, more than I could pull there. I was distracting them from my team. They're probably gonna get mid turned off that. Fuck, I could have burst them up at the end. I thought flashing would have been fine, but you got the egg. Kill the egg. Oh, he's dead. Oh, get the cute. No. Nope. His ult's down, can't snipe fiddle six. Oh my god, it has one hit left, really? 
90 health on that inhib turret. That's ridiculous. Excuse me. Let's see. Let's try this. I always wanted to try Gunblade plus Blade of the Rain King. I'm gonna get both items and see if, see how it works. AP and AD both really efficient stats on me, on me right now. Um, my on hit does damage doesn't really scale with AP, but it does amplify the damage on all my abilities and my shield and my ultimate health. So it's good in that regard. Gunblade again, hyper efficient item for the stats. If you can use every stat provided, then it's good. I don't know how it's not that amazing on Lulu, but I definitely I just want to try out both components here. I should back back. Oh, but he was almost. And he lost vision. Good snipe. I should have just backed off after taking the free kill on Fiddlesticks. Oh well. I think they can clean this up. <laughs> Good job. I wonder how Bill Drawder and Blade stack. I guess they just stack. They don't. They're independent of each other. That would make more sense. That would make sense. Alright. I'm gonna go hold bot. That's really, really big wave. Fit, uh, he's gonna take our blue. And that should put me really close to my Hextech revolver. Um, I could have gone for tankiness after finishing Blazer and King plus Trinity Forest, but again, I wanna try out the Gunblade and see how it feels because I'll have two basically activatable nukes with Gunblade and Blazer and King and since I auto attacking a lot and I have at least one single target ability I can bring it back off cooldown pretty fast I can just keep pushing we're not going to lose any 4v5s right now unless they just Massively misposition and take a full fiddle sticks out. if I choose to use it as such. I'm going to shield the creep so it gets increased health and can take an extra turret hit. We should be getting a free baron right now. It's not that... It should die. Good job. I'm just focus on hanging bot in him right now. We got a free baron. And if I can get an inhib, even if we, even if all four of them die, it'll be worth it. No money on their teams will be calling it. Three of their team died, what the hell? I'm just gonna end the game. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, I can just end it. I wanna get my gun blade first, so I don't wanna end the game. No. I'll take both Nexus turrets and then back off. <laughs> Fuck, the creeps are gonna end it. No, Gunblade! No, what the hell? Wow, he did not just do that. Oh no, you did not do that, baby. You don't do that to me. I'm on my gun blade. Oh my god. No. Oh my god, I can buy it. Worth it. I could actually use it to feel how it works in a team fight, though. Oh. But yeah.
Lulu, hybrid Lulu, AD Lulu, attack speed Lulu, on hit Lulu, whatever you want to call it. It does a lot of damage. Um, the reason it works so well is because Lulu has, again, like I said previously, I just want to reiterate so people don't think I'm trolling or think I'm confused or something. Um, she gets a lot of utility, a lot of damage, a lot of survivability from her skill set. So you can really choose to build her any way you want. You can go AP, you can go support, you can go for damage, and you can still be very effective. And like you saw in those later fights, I was just chunking people for so much damage with my auto attacks. So, Lulu's a really fun, really strong champion. I think that she's underplayed in solo lanes, but people still run her from time to time. I think she's a really good top laner. Um, I used to think that she got beat by, like, Aurelia and stuff, but that's because I tried too hard to go AP, when really, you can just go for hybrid damage and be really, really effective. 